and welcome to another coffee and card at the old stables let me just get this slightly better positioned that's a bit better little crooked that's crooked the other way okay let me just check that it's live over on my laptop Excellent. So if you are here, say hello. Um, let me know where you are joining from. Is that Jan? That looks like Jan. It is Jan. Hello, Jan. Hope you are keeping well. I feel disheveled at the moment. Um, I love it when I get notification that I'm doing a Facebook Live myself. Um, I am in that weird space again where for me to be in the middle of the camera, or the middle of the screen, I have a clip right in front of my face, so it's very odd. Anywho, oh, I also have a bee sitting on my drink. Hold on one moment. That was weird. So I've got my, hi Marion, I got my um, thermos of stuff and um, I had a bee sitting just on top. Uh, the bee is now outside. I just shook my thing a little. Anyway, so yes, I have my drink. I hope you've all got drinks because this is supposed to be coffee and card. Um, and this isn't coffee. This is uh, mulled wine spice, I think. So we've got Brenda. We've got Linda. Do say hi. Let me know that you can hear OK, because I'm never quite sure that I get these things right. Let me Ooh, ooh. So let me know you can hear me or not. Last week I made this and it was far too hot. So and I also have a biscuit. So while we're foregathering, hi Marion. I'm going to eat my biscuit. But as I say, let me know what what you drink you've got. Have you got cake? Because in my face-to-face -face coffee and card, I normally have cake. But biscuit is better. Sound is good. Thank you, Jackie. Excellent. I suddenly realised my volume was down, but it's the output volume, not the input volume. So it's, it's okay. Are we all keeping well? Who, who is not in lockdown? Because I know we've got people from all over watching although dare I say numbers are numbers are dropping off um so let me know if you're not in lockdown I have a suspicion we're going to be in lockdown probably until the end of May it's my guess thank you Jan I feel slightly rude eating with... We're about to have dinner, 6pm. We'll watch replay. Sounds good, Mariam. Nearly finished my biscuit. So, yes, is anyone not in lockdown? Spain is beginning to come out of lockdown, but I gather, or bits of it, but I gather their lockdown was more aggressive than ours. So in the UK, we're allowed to go out for exercise once a day well they suggest once a day wales it's only once a day but i gather in spain you weren't allowed out other than to do shopping so what can i tell you about what's happened here this week um we've had some lovely weather obviously it's been easter We've had some amazing weather. Hi, Rose. Um, I was slightly concerned uh, that 
I was going to get sunburned because it was absolutely glorious weather. We've had 25 degrees. Australia's doing well, but don't want to lift restrictions yet. I, Australia, I think you're doing really well. Um, looking at the numbers that I've seen a couple of days ago, um, you are doing really well. Whether that's because you kind of got ahead of the curve, I don't know. But um, uh, I just wonder if the incubation period is slightly longer than people think. And that's why we've still in the UK not quite hit the top of the curve. Well, I think we may be flattening off, but I don't know. It's slightly depressing. So I have been gardening my little heart out. Um, I have completely, I think, ruined my thumb. Uh, I suddenly remembered last night why my thumb is sensitive. Um, I came off when I was still commuting up to London. I used to cycle to our local station and I was doing that one day when I was going through a local housing estate and I saw person walking dog and dog and I kept my eye on the dog and I was thinking that's all right it's sniffing it's in a world of its own it's going to be fine person decided it would be a really clever idea to call dog hi B um to call dog at exactly the wrong moment so the dog came across my path as I was crossing its path, so I slammed my brakes on, fell off, and I wrenched my thumb um, on the handlebar. Uh, it was beautifully bruised. I mean, say this was about, must be about three years ago. It was bruised, I kid you not, all the way down here. And it's that same bit. So if I pull my, I'm not going to, if I pull my thumb in the wrong way, it pings. And I think I probably did some permanent damage. Um, so when I'm gardening and I'm, you know, digging and twisting and weeding, it's flared up again. But I've, my garden is looking amazing in that there's soil as opposed to weeds. And for me, weeds is a plant where it shouldn't be. So I've stupidly planted things that when we still lived in London, didn't partic grow particularly well. So things like aquilegia. Um, I now have them everywhere. Uh, I could not grow an aquilegia in Twickenham to save my life. And I have probably dug up, I kid you not, about 50. Rosie's in Australia. So it's going to be late evening, I'm guessing, wherever you are. Australia, obviously, big, has time, different time bands. Uh, in the UK, we have one. So, yes, I cannot tell you how much stuff I've dug up other than we have a, a bin uh, like a wheelie bin where we can put garden waste. And at the moment they are still taking it. Um, I have filled two bins because I filled it the day before the waste was picked up and I've now filled it again. All digging up out of one flower bed. Um, now, other things that I can talk to you about while people are gathering. So remember that I've got a host code for April. So if you're in the UK and you're shopping with me, do remember to use the host code because then you get some free stuff. Um, I'm also doing some giveaways as part of my Facebook lives. So last week we were giving away the happy birthday to you. The draw for this will be next week. So if you haven't shared the live either on Facebook or on YouTube, because um, it's in both places, if you want a chance to win the, it is one of the celebration sets, the happy birthday to you set, which if I take the sticker off, you can see properly. Um, it's a beautiful set. I had such fun with this. It's new. This is one of the um, because I'm a, so it's, it's still all lovely and new, um, because I am a demonstrator, obviously I get lots of free stuff, um, when I put my orders in, because I'm putting in lots of orders. So yes, if you want this, um, share the video and then in the comments below, either the Facebook business, the one on my Facebook business page or on YouTube, just put shared. And then you will get entered into the draw and that will be live next week. That's the 21st of April. So that's that. So that was that last week. And this week we have 
the host set from the current mini catalogue. So this is Make a Splash. I, um, I'll share. Thank you, Marilyn. Hi, Louise. Um, so yes, this is the prize for this week. So again, if you share the video either from YouTube or from this Facebook Live and put shared in the comments, then you are in with a chance of winning this. I've made quite a few cards with this. Um, I think it's a really cute set. So yeah, so the draw for that will be on the 28th of April. If you're in the UK, I will pay for the postage. If you're, if it's won uh, uh, by someone out of the UK, we'll have a chat about how we're going to deal with that. Um, so that is that. Oh, I know what else I need to talk to you about whilst I remember. So you probably know that, orn I know it's backwards for you, I'm sorry. The Ornate Garden Suite is now available as part of the early release. Uh, some of the items are um, on back order because it has been incredibly popular. Let me see if I've made a... N so this would be the ornate layers which are on back order let me grab my so it's this lot if I come back uh is currently on back order and the matching stamp set which is this one so this is a bundle uh this is also um either on low stock or on back order you can order but it won't be an immediate um shipment uh for Germany, I can only speak for Europe. So the German warehouse, which is where all our stuff comes from, is still shipping reasonably well. I'm still getting things through, I would say, a couple of days, well, a day earlier than I would normally expect to. Uh, so that's all good. Um, UPS are still delivering OK in most areas. Um, and again, I'm talking Europe. There are one or two specific. Hi, Julia. There are one or two specific postcodes where it's not not in the UK. This is in France and Germany, I think, where they're having issues delivering. But for UK, it's all good. Time for a drink. Mm. So that's that. Now, uh, tutorials. I've got some tutorial bundles available either to buy or to get free with orders so the glam squad which is 16 tutorials each month if you order over 45 pounds before pmp you'll get that free last month so anyone who bought in april and spent 45 pounds got the animal tutorials the this month is florals um so yeah and then 16 and you can either place an order so say 45 pounds before pmp or you can buy them the april one isn't available yet but the may the march one is still available uh and it's 15 pounds to buy ornate bundle i have got a mega tutorial bundle available and i kid you not it's 990 projects um, and that is free with a £60 order or you can buy it for £17. I have already sold some of both of those. So that's that. Stamping Mist, uh, if it isn't in stock already, will be any day now and it will fill back orders. Now, comments. I love comments. Um, I did talk about this last week. Uh, I've had quite a few comments through, actually, interestingly, on YouTube as well as on Facebook, uh, that were phrased in such a way as to suggest that the person who left the comment thought that we were still live. If there is a little red button there that says live, we're live! Um, and therefore comments I will answer if I can as we go. Uh, if there is no red button there and you're watching on Facebook, you're watching a replay. If you're on YouTube, you're watching a replay. Uh, you don't need to worry about red buttons. It is a replay. So just be aware that if you leave a comment that is specific to 23 and a half minutes into the video, 
I will have absolutely no idea what you're saying or what you're talking about. Um, so if you leave a comment and it's not live, so if it's not Tuesday morning in the UK, sort of lunchtime ish in the UK, the chances are it is a replay. So if you've got a question, if you could say how when you did that stamping with the whatever, what what why did you do it that way or whatever just so i've got some ideas and then i can come back to you so that'd be great okay so enough waffle i'm gonna have another drink and then we're gonna get started mm. okay i have to get onto a stool to do this so you get to see my gut aren't you lucky right okay so i'm gonna put my hand over and twist and flip. Woohoo! It's almost. Hi, Fiona! It's almost. It's where I want it, which is remarkable. So, flowers. Okay, so so long as I stay basically within the grid paper, we'll be good to go. Right. And I can just about see your comments. Now it's just very slightly. Hi, Karen. Australia. Whereabouts Australia being a large place? Now, is it me or is it dark here? Can you see all right down in the bottom right hand corner? It may just be because they put dark things on the um, phone screen so I can see comments. But if you can let me know if you can see this sort of area, that would be good. If you just do thumbs up or Actually, I can go check, can't I, over on my, on my um, laptop. Yes, you can. You can see. OK, so um, first card, I will need to do a little bit of die cutting. Well, not die cutting, embossing. You can see. Good. All good. OK, so this is the first card we're going to make. You can see I've, a pre I've prepped. I've got things in baskets. So... This is the first card. I don't often put paper on the inside of my card, but I have this time. So we are going to use Grapefruit Grove. Now, do remember that Grapefruit Grove is one of the retiring in colours, um, which means that come the end of May, beginning of June, just realise I haven't got one of my stamp, my ink pads, uh, because I put it in something else. Um, so come the end of May, beginning of June, we will have different, well, we won't, these will be going. Um, so the colours that will be going are Grapefruit Grove, let me grab them. So Grapefruit Grove, lovely lipstick, pineapple punch, which I adore. Um, Call Me Clover and Blueberry Bushel, another of the colours I adore. Uh, the others I'm... Mm -mm. I mean, I like grape... Yes, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, I'm okay with. I'm not convinced by Lovely Lipstick or Call Me Clover, but, you know, that's me. Um, so, New South Wales. Okay. Um, these will be going, and there's going to come a moment when they're suddenly just mad panic, and everyone will go, Oh, I've got to go! I've got to get it! And they'll go out of stock. Um, so just bear that in mind, because once they're gone, they will be gone. So if you want any of the ink colours, be that card, ribbon, um, ink pads, you need to get them sooner rather than later. Right, I am digging out my gallery grunge i used to love gorgeous grunge it was one of my very early stamp sets and i loved it um and then it dropped and i was very sad uh gallery grunge is not exactly the same but it's a good substitute so i've got this parquet flooring that i'm going to use and i'm going to stamp on a piece of Grapefruit Grove. Um, the dimensions I will put over on my website because this will go get launched onto my website and I will put the dimensions there. Um, so you will have everything. Uh, so yes, I'm going to ink, it up, ink up in 
a soft suede and sorry I'm going to be jiggling the camera aren't I uh, and I'm just going to stamp it sort of towards the bottom so between a half so between this is kind of halfway so kind of there-ish um, and it's quite a large stamp so you need to give it quite a bit of willy and then up and that's very nice as far as it goes and as far as it goes it has gone uh, somewhere oh yes buried under my stuff already I have got my actually clean but they don't look like it chamois so this is one chamois that I've cut in half uh, and before we went live I went over to the house and rinsed them out so they are actually clean they just don't look like it um, so that's all I need that for and we will be using gallery grunge again because I suddenly realized I got it and I had tinked it up so I'm going to be using it um, the retiring list, so while we're talking about things retiring, will be going live very soon. So we will begin to know um, what's staying and what's going. Now, this I want to run through my embossing. Um, I'm using the Coastal Weave embossing folder. This is from the Tropical Oasis suite, as is the paper. Um, so this is the one I'm going to use uh, and I want it so that um, it pushes the planks up so there's a thin ridge and a fat ridge and I'm putting it to so the thin ridge, ridge is there and the fat ridge is here so stamping up is visible from the up side now this is a 3d embossing folder so it needs the blue plate I've marked all my 3D embossing folders with the blue plate. Whiz that through, because that's set up, ready to go. I think it's the only, from memory, woo, throw it on the floor, why don't I? Um, I think it's the only big shot work I need to do. But it adds this lovely texture, which I think is just gorgeous. Um, and it kind of goes with the parquet flooring. So that's that. So that's that prepped. I've also got two pieces of designer series paper. Um, one, this one is the one with the cars on the back or the front. And this one is the one with the irises and the um, pool party on the back. And I'm going to be mounting this onto this. So I'll do that now. So these are slightly smaller than my usual mats. But I am loving the Tropical Oasis. Um, we may not be able to go to the tropics at the moment, but we can always dream. Uh, I've been seeing quite a lot of, you know, Facebook shares your memories and says, you know, do you want to be reminded of this? Um, and I have been seeing quite a lot of, ironically for today, um, the comment two years ago was this may not be the Eiffel Tower or the Golden Gate Bridge or something. Um, but I like it. And it was a view of the garden with the cat, one of the cats in it, um, which is pretty much the only view I get at the moment. <clears throat> so, right. So that's that. Let me. Now, the reason I used liquid adhesive and quite a lot was because this is embossed. Um, so one needs to put quite a lot of. Um, adhesive down so that it actually sticks um, otherwise you may end up if you only put a little bit around the edge you may end up with that being on the bit that is raised and therefore not going onto the onto the um, paper sorry I have to concentrate when I stick things down so that's the background ready to go now let me do the stamping for the for the sentiment uh, which would be a lot easier if I had got out a piece of appropriately sized scrap paper so let me just create an appropriately sized piece of scrap paper was bound 
be something I forgot. I'll probably find it in a minute. Um, but anyway, so I don't need that block anymore. I'm going to be using Seriously the Best. Um, I do need to make up my Seriously the Best. Oh, hi, Mary. Um, I do need to make up my Seriously the Best card kit. Um, I've got the card kit, which I opened on camera a few weeks ago. Just haven't actually made it up yet. So you're seriously the best. Now, a few weeks ago, I shared um, how to emboss in any colour of ink. It only works really on pale colours and specifically on um, Whisper White. It's not bad on vanilla, but we did last year. That's not straight, but it's fine. Last year we had um, embossing powder in the ink colours that are about to retire. Um, this is Embossing Buddy. Um, and they didn't carry over. So I have got those, but this is not what I'm doing. So I'm inking up with Versamark and then my Grapefruit Grove. And just down the edge here, I'm inking up with Versamark and blowing the piece of fluff off my paper and just towards the bottom I'm going to stamp. I'm holding it there for a little bit. Right, okay, so before that has a chance to dry I'm going to dabble it in embossing powder and if you watch my YouTubes you'll know I do that twice so that's that and now I'm going to do the same thing and I want the same block of course uh, I'm going to do the same thing with the thanks um, I'm doing masses and masses and masses of thank you cards at the moment and I'm popping them in my handbag so that when I'm out doing my shopping, because that really is the only reason I'm going out at the moment, I can um, hand them over to shop workers or if there's any NHS people who are there who are shopping, um, those sorts of things, because then it's a way of saying thank you. Right, okay, so, and um, my local Waitrose has actually got a table with all their thank you cards and letters on it, which is rather nice. So I was there, oh, just before the weekend, Friday, I think. Yeah, I think it was Friday. Um, and I know, good Friday. Um, and there was my card. I suddenly spotted it and thought, hang on, I recognise that. And there was a reason for that. Right, so this one I am going to stamp towards the your end of the sentiment we've already got. And again, I've inked up with Versamark and with... So Versamark first, first, then the Grapefruit Grove. Don't... Oh, that's smudged. Oh, it'll be fine because I'm going to fussy cut it. It'll be fine! Hopefully. Otherwise, we'll have to turn over and try again. No, that's going to be fine, because I am going to be fussy cutting it. So, um, but hey, we all do things like that every now and again. Um, so, yes, I was in there on Friday and it was sort of weird that suddenly I saw something that I recognised um, because it was something I'd made um, ages ago, actually. Right. OK. Trusty cheese board time. So, I apologise, this is going to be loud. Put your fingers in your ears now. And here we go. Actually, even with the slight smudge, it looks all right. So that's good. 
Okay, so fussy cutting. I know that people, some people, have a real problem with fussy cutting. So I am going to take the time, and you are going to be looking at pretty much paint drying. I'm going to take the time to show you how I fussy cut. Now, I try to start not straight because then you get a corner and corners are not good. Um, unless you specifically want a corner or not, of course. Now, so therefore I've come in and around and you may be wondering why I'm cutting this bottom bit off. It's just, it was too big. Simple as that. So this is where we really start on fussy cutting. And we're moving the paper, not the scissors. So the scissors are just opening and closing. And the paper is what is moving. Um, I've said this before, and I will repeat it. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Um, just realised I was out of the light. So if you want something to do while you're sitting with spare time, grab some either some scrap card that you can stamp on or magazines that have got, you know, decent things that you can cut out and just practice. Um, I started, and I think I showed this last week, I started with um, doing fussy cutting with the smallest pair of scissors you can probably ever see. Um, they are, hmm, they were in my little, there they are. There they are, sorry, you're getting my arm. So those, um, so those are for curved and those are for straight and they are tiny, they're spring loaded. Um, so, when you undo the screw, let me show you, um, but they really are tiny. So, oops, wrong screw, that screw. Gosh, it's so long since I've used them. So that is what I mean by really small scissors. So I would do flowers and all sorts of things and you just squeeze them. Um, they take some getting used to, but they are tiny. Thank you, B. Um, so yes, I I've had those for oh gosh, twenty plus years, probably. Um, but yeah, so that's how I started with fussy cutting, and I fussy cut for decoupage. Um, now decoupage is the meaning of decoupage has changed over the years. So. If you were a, were a Victorian and you did decoupage, um, basically what you did was you would cut pictures out as a whole piece and stick them onto bits of furniture and those sorts of things um, and then varnish over the top. So it was layering pictures onto bits of furniture and then making them part of that piece of furniture. When we talk about decoupage these days, we mean um, layering up. So you cut, you have a, a big stamped area and you stamp it a few times and you take more and more off each time and then you layer it up so it becomes 3D. Um, and you normally put foam or something like that between your layers. Oh gosh, and I just remembered, we used to have, I'm sure it's still made, um, silicon glue which smell awful. It's like the stuff you use for sealing the bath to the tiles, that plastic gunky stuff. Hi, Jill from Northamptonshire. Met you on stage, Telford. My first one. Was that last year, Jill? Because it was about this time last year that we was on stage in Telford. Um, so... Yes, we used to use this really smelly um, silicon glue for doing decoupage, but it meant you could, there was a lot of wiggle room, and it also meant that you could get on underneath small pieces 
But boy, did it smell. Um, only to be used in a well-ventilated room, I think. So there we are. That is our thanks, ready to go. And even though I did smudge the stamping, it's fine. Uh, so it's always worth just finishing something off to see whether it continues to be okay. Uh, right, okay. So let me grab... That's my liner. So this is a half sheet of So Saffron um, that I cut long and thin. I like doing long and thin because it's easier for photography. Um, I used to do short and fat. Catherine from Sheffield. Wish I could fussy cut that well. Uh, practice. Sorry, Catherine. It's practice. I've been fussy cutting for over 20 years. Um, it's probably nearer 30 and it's practice. Like most things, I'm afraid, practice makes perfect. Our parents were right. OK, so a little bit of glue. You do need a lot because this is not embossed. The piece of card on the top is, but the paper is not. And it does mean you get that little bit of wiggle room so that if it's not completely straight, you can move it about. Hi, Rene. So that's that. I have already started. No, I haven't. I thought I had. So this is some of the ordinary burlap ribbon that's in the annual catalogue. There is the braided burlap as well, which is part of the suite, but I wanted something a little wider and a little flatter. Um, and I'm now gonna do something really odd. Um, so you can undo, but I find it quite tricky. You can, oh, there we are. You can, it's all right. You can undo the end of your ribbon. Um, so that it becomes individual bits of burlap and then just so this is just a piece of nylon thread um, so that can go in my little bin and then I want to do the same thing at the other end which of course isn't going to play ball nearly as well why would it come on now let's get rid of that piece I think I pulled more than one bit away at one time. OK, so there we are. So it's really nicely frayed at each end and I'm going to cut it down, but not until I have stuck the whole thing down. So I'm going to have that about there and just add a piece of tear and tape and it's going to be covered up. So if I'm pushing the embossing flat again, I don't care. But this is great for sticking burlap ribbon down with. And then you can just pop it on. And because this is thick, um, it won't, you can't feel the stick through it. And then I'm just going to, at an angle, actually, I might go this way, at an angle, just trim off some of the ends and then do the same. that way and get rid of those little bits into the bin so that is all done and these are as I say still frayed this again I'm going to stick on with tear and tape um, now today over on my YouTube channel I have two posts one has already gone live and um, sorry I'm trying to tear that and it won't tear so I'm going to use my sticky scissors um, one has already gone live and it's basically hints and tips on glue dots um, because people s seem to have problems with glue dots and what they use them for and stopping them unfurling and those sorts of things. So this is just going to go on towards the edge here and so that it lines up with the burlap. There we go. And the finishing touch for the outside are some champagne... Um, dots, rhinestones, that's the word I'm looking for. So I've got one to go down just there. 
one. I used basically small on my original, but I want to use up these because they're kind of scrap. Um, I like to finish things. Right, I'm going to use the other end for that. Come on. You can do it. There you go. And pop that in between the T and the H. Thank you, Marilyn. Right, rubbish. Not rubbish. So, got burlap everywhere now. Inside of the card. I'm not putting any stamping on the inside of the card. And again, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of adhesive on the inside. Not much at all. And then pop that down. And then I've already got, and these were just off cuts, um, two bits, they are actually two bits, of designer series paper. And they're the off cuts of the paper that I used at the back. Uh, so I'm going to stick these down as well on the inside of my card. So I'm going to pop a reasonable amount at the top. I don't know where the bottom is going to be, other than it's going to be at the bottom. Um, and I did go slightly in, I just had to check. Um, so I'm going to add a reasonable strip there so that I know that the bottom is stuck to. And just come in a wee bit more. There we go. And I'm coming down from the crease a little bit. Otherwise, it'll interrupt where the crease is. And then I'm going to come in with the other piece and stick that down the middle of the first piece of designer series paper. Just watched the video on glue dots. Good. I'm glad you found it helpful, Catherine. Um, it's as much as anything not getting the cat syndrome. Um, so anyone who hasn't watched the video this morning's video yet. Um, uh, my cats decided to, in our old house, take a roll of glue dots that I hadn't tied up and played with it down the stairs. 300 glue dots all down the stairs, covered in fluff. Uh, they didn't come off the backing, but they were all covered in... Oops, that's got glue on it. They were all covered in fluff, so they were useless. So there we are. That is our first card. And it's almost exactly the same as the original, which is always nice. So, any colour heat embossing. Uh, right, so that's that one. Let me pop that one away out of the way. Uh, and just quickly tidy up my stamps before I forget. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with no blocks and lots of dirty stamps. So that goes back in there. And yes, I do keep the rubber so that I know when we're doing face to face classes, having the rubber in place is really helpful because it means I know if um, one of the stamps is out, particularly useful with small stamps. Right. OK, so next one. Aren't cats great? Cats are great when they behave. Um, I love them. I wouldn't be without my cats. Um, they don't particularly like it when I'm in my craft room because they're not allowed in mostly because they climb all over it, things. Uh, one of them decided he got in Pepper, who is gorgeous. Um, he's my black cat with a bent ear. He's my little baby boy. Um, and he got into my studio a couple of weeks ago and clearly jumped all over the keyboard of my laptop um, and I don't know what he what keys he hit in what order but my laptop didn't work very well for quite a long time afterwards I had to reset everything so I have not yet made this card it's gonna be fun um, I've planned it but I haven't made it so wish me luck. Um, this is the Everything Amazing stamp set. It is one of the ones that's from the annual catalogue that I haven't used yet. I know. Hello, hello Sally. Um, it's really scary that I've got, we've got how many weeks before the new catalogue? Seven. And I've still got stamp sets 
that I haven't used from the annual catalogue. It's really scary. Now, I could use the Stamparatus for this. It's probably what I should be doing. But I like to live dangerously. So I need Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. But as I say, I haven't planned this, so who knows? Um, right, new new photopolymer stamp, so I like to rub over it with my hand or a good quality white eraser just to get any... Um, they have a release thing, fluid spray thing that they put on the moulds so that they release... Um, and I like to make sure it's off. The other one you can do is take a microfiber cloth and just wipe over or ink it up, stamp it a few times and squish it about. That works too. Squish it about is technical, you understand. So this is going to be fairly plain. Um, there are lots of little, don't need that at the moment, there are lots of little bits, but I'm probably not going to use those. I'm going to just be doing the main image and then the words that fit in. As I say, wish me luck because I haven't used this stamp set yet. So therefore I haven't had a practice run. Actually, let's have the card straight and the block straight. Oh, and I've just noticed there's a cat hair um, where you kind of don't want it. Right, I'm, I am going to stamp it this time, honest. Hi Jane, it's a large stamp and I haven't got my, my stamp pad behind it, my bungee rubber, I've just realised. So this may or may not work, because I should have had my piercing mat behind it. Woohoo, it worked! Phew! And it is a lovely stamp. Why haven't I used it? Let's hope it carries over, because otherwise... <clears throat> that'll be embarrassing, won't it? OK. Right. So I'm going to have this as a birthday. So I want wishing you an amazing birthday. Wishing you... And again, just make sure it's not got any gick on it. Release gick. Bermuda Bay. I do love Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana together. This is where it's really good that you can't see my face because my tongue was sticking out. Phew! Phew! Okay, wishing you an. I'm never going to get birthday straight, am I? If I've got wishing you an and amazing straight, who wants to put money on getting the next one straight? Any odds? Oop. And again. Just, I'll let myself get away with it. It's slightly up, but it's all right. Okay. Phew. Now, you could, if you wanted to, stamp the words on separate paper, and then you could trim it down and raise it. Hi, Wendy. Morning to you, too. It's just morning, still. Um, so, yes, you could actually lift up the two sentiment pieces um, if you were so inclined um, that gives you the let's take the cat hair off um, that gives you the peace of mind that if you do go a bit wonky um, you can trim it down so it's not such an issue but equally it worked or use the stamparatus Claire Henderson Rowe. Wow. Hello. 
I love your dances. Just saying. Um, Claire is a very, very, very old, very dear friend of mine. And I don't mean old. I mean long-standing. Uh, yes, I think I will. Glue dots. Um, and she has been keeping us amused with daily dance routines, a la Claire, who I think would be perfectly happy for me or would agree that Claire, Claire, who is a man, an amazing performer, um, dance was never one of her major fortes. She moves very well to music, but I don't think I would ever have classified her as being someone on in the dance troupe. Uh, that's just, you know, and as I say, I think she might agree. I hope she does because she hasn't reacted. But yes, Claire and I have been friends for a very, very long time and our respective husbands have been have been friends since they were in short trousers. Well, actually, I think they were probably in long trousers by the time they got to know each other, but they were at grammar school together. Hi, Sue. Right, so I've put a little glue dot behind there. I've only brought in the silicone mat just in case the glue dot decided it wanted to attach itself underneath. So, um, and I think I will do what I showed you in the glue dot special um, over on my YouTube channel and just add a couple underneath. just so that it doesn't flap in the breeze. So that is that. Now I want to pop that on there and I think we're going to pop it up, which means I've also got some of the glimmer dots, which have got lovely glitter. Uh, and one of the colors is Coastal Cabana. So I'm going to use some of the Coastal Cabana dots. So it's really strange. People keep joining and then every now and again I look at the number of people watching and it's gone down. Just crying. It's fine. All right, so there's a little splash there. So let's pop one there and one there. And I like threes. Well, odd numbers, but in this case, three. Uh, I think we'll have it at the end of the birthday. Now, the reason I did it before I popped it up was because obviously once it's popped up, it becomes a bit like it's flapping in the breeze. Um, so it's not as easy to stick things down. So I am deliberately putting my dimensionals over the end of the ribbon just so that... Um, it helps to stick them down. That's probably far too many dimensionals, but I don't care. Got to throw, uh, got to throw out and had a real, oh, got thrown out and sorry, I'm reading, I'm reading comments through the clip. So you got thrown out and had to reload. Um, I'm not going to even tempt Providence. Uh, those of you who watched my very first Facebook Live coffee and card a couple of weeks ago will possibly remember the joy I had with Facebook that day. Who decided that throwing me out of my own Facebook Live on my own business page was a really amusing thing. It may have been amusing for them, but it wasn't for me. Right, okay, so that's then going to go on there. So this is quite, you know, easy, half stepped up card. Um, I would say this is probably a casual crafter card rather than a beginner card, uh, only because of the layering and the fact that it is a two step stamp. Um, I think for simple stamping, it's probably a single layer. 
and just stamping. So that's the outside. So we've gone turquoise, turquoise, actually, dare I say, clear colours, except it would have had to have been pink as well. Um, and because we've got nice little stamps that we can put on the inside, I'm going to pop some balloons on the inside because that will tie in quite nicely with the party theme, the birthday theme. So let's grab that. So good morning, Pamela from Connecticut. So early, early for you. So again, I'm just making sure there's no finish on the stamp because it's new. Um, Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know how, how long the lag is. I'm going to take a drink and see if anyone says Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay. The joy we all have had when you're... Uh, yes, absolutely, Karen. It was fun. Um, I had to, I had to edit the beginning off the f the beginning bit off the second go, uh, because it was really quite rude. Um, so before I loaded it up to YouTube, I I took off the um that that amazing stamp is wigging its way from. Hey, excellent, B. So, does anyone have any strong feelings on whether I should go Bermuda Bay or Coastal Cabana? Coastal Cabana. Thank you, Jan. OK, we'll go Coastal Cabana. So, just, I like doing things in the bottom right-hand corner. There is a reason. Um... There's a number of reasons, but there is a reason why I particularly like bottom right hand corner, because it's all to do with when when I do my photographs, uh, because I tend to have the card so that it's at an angle like that. And from here, you're with Jan. Good, Wendy. You see, trained my team well. Um, consensus. That's what I like. Thank you, ladies. Uh, so. Yes, that's why I like bottom right hand corner for things um, and why the tropical card had these strips of car of paper down the right hand side. It's planned so that I can do it for either will look really nice. It will. Um, and actually, because we've gone Coastal Cabana, that's actually quite nice because you then get the contrast against the Bermuda Bay. Woohoo! It's... It's lovely when these things work. So again, just a small amount of adhesive around the end, uh, outside. And there we are, our second card. So that's that one. Hope you like it. Um, just have a quick tidy. And then we will go on to our last card, which has a story connected to it. It's a slightly embarrassing one. Only slightly. Well, hmm, maybe a little more than slightly. Right. OK, so another little basket. As I say, I've planned. <laughs> Hasn't necessarily worked completely, but I have planned. Punch. Ink pads. Piece of ribbon and stamp sets gorgeous grunge again 9 p.m in australia thank you Rene. i'm glad you like the cards uh right so i need soft suede back so the story behind this well i'm let's first say i'm going to change it slightly so this i because i used a die cut i would put this into the avid crafter category for me Simple stamping is single layer, um, stamps, ink and paper, uh, possibly with a few pearls or rhinestones, but nothing too much. To then go up to a casual crafter, you would go for a stamp and Avid 
is anything that involves the use of a big shot. I've had to cut curtail card making as hooking bands to help prevent. Oh, well done. Well done, Wendy. I've got to start work doing my octos for a preemie again because everyone's been so worried about making them and spreading any germs um, that the whole of the Oxfordshire um, octopus for a preemie group have stopped making. Um, this is what I mean by an octo for a preemie. This is, this is one that I'm keeping. This was the first one I did, so I'm keeping it. Um, but yes, this is what I do for light relief in the evenings. Um, so yes, we've all been scared. So yes, avid crafter using a big shot, so dies, embossing folders, those sorts of things, casual punches and simple single layer. This this would be an avid because it uses a die for this and for this, but I'm going to make a casual version of it. And while I'm making it, I will give you the embarrassing story. Um, as I say, gallery grunge and someone special. Oh, sorry, special someone. Now, do remember that if you didn't get them, the dies, which are all over the place in here, I must get a magnetic sheet for them, um, were available as part of the coordination release during celebration um, and will be, should be, in the new catalogue. That's what we were told anyway. But I'm only going to be using the stamps for this card. I'm crocheting while watching me. Excellent, Jackie. Um, so I need that stamp. I need that stamp. And surprise, surprise, that stamp. And I'll explain why surprise, surprise in a moment. So I need that that possibly no i'll go i'll go that instead of that right so this is thank you which is why i say surprise surprise uh, let me just get that straight love my grid paper for that um oh i've picked up one of the stamps with my finger these blocks are filthy. I am so sorry. I need to clean them again. Right. Scrap of paper. And I'm actually going to do this an odd way around. Because I'm not convinced this is going to fit. But I'm going to see if it will. So I'm punching that out. Story time. Is this the story time punch? It's in the annual catalogue. Can't remember. Might get away with it. Not convinced. Might have to find a bigger stamp. Uh, right, so soft suede for the detailed mouse. You know, if I go there a bit, that might help. Now, the reason I've punched first is because I want to make sure I get the spacing right. Um, and it's easier to get the spacing right when you've actually got the shape you're stamping on. Um, oh, love it when a plan comes together. And there we go. Phew, I think is the word I'm looking for. So that's that one done. Now crumb cake um, and the story. OK. I suddenly remembered yesterday that I hadn't made a project for one of the monthly blog hops that I take part in. Um, it's a voluntary. You don't have to. So I'm just concentrating on lining this up. Um, yes, that's all right. You don't have to take part. But I generally do. Um, blender pen. Um, I'm just going to move some of the ink around so that I don't have white bits on my mouse. 
Um, so yes, it is a voluntary blog hop, but it is one that I have done most months. So I made this project um, and I filmed the project and I forgot to post it and it went live in the wee small hours of the morning. So that's that really. Ho-hum! Um, so that didn't kind of work quite how I had anticipated. So I'm using it today instead. Right, so um, I'm replacing the die cut. Try to work. Try to work. I don't quite know what you mean by try to work. Um, so yes, I'm going to replace this um, granny apple green with this granny apple green. But I'm still going to have the dots in the background. And, um, sorry, I'm trying to half read the comments as well. Um, Mount that up on my D block and blushing bride. Now, this is one of my little tricks. So I cherish my paper. I have even been known to rub things out off it so that it's nice and clean, clean, clean. Um, so one of the things I quite often do is when I am looking to stamp off the edge, I put the mat that I'm going to use behind uh, because no one's going to know. It's the same theory as far as I'm concerned as if you want to die cut something in Blushing Bride, you do it from the middle of your mat because it saves card. So nobody knows, just you and me. Um, up a bit of fire. So Karen is, so Rene, Karen thinks Rene is New South Wales, but Rene is actually Queensland. Okay. Um, right, so that's that. I know what I meant to do as well, but I forgot, but it's fine. I can do it. So yes, I, no one's going to know. You and me. And then that's going to go there. So who thinks it's a rather a weird colour combination? Um, and in fact, that's going to go right the way around. Um, I like to do weird colour combinations every now and again. And yes, I know I'm putting the glue on the larger of the two mats, but I know that I've only got a very, 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 oops, missed a bit, narrow margin. So it's not a problem. I quite often will put glue on, not on the Whisper White, but on whatever else I'm using, um, because then it's less likely to wobble your Whisper White. Now, in the original, the die cut went all the way to the edge. I'm not doing it all the way to the edge. I'm just going to wrap it round underneath. And again, shall I use, or shall I use? No, I'm going to use snail this time. You can use blue dots, but I'm going to use snail because I am. Because I'm being contrary. So. So, has anyone got any plans for the rest of the day? I know we're, you know, not going out necessarily. Um, but gardening? Doing the washing, I've known. I know people are getting all excited about um, about redecorating their houses. Um, I've spotted quite a lot of people painting fences that won't normally get painted. I have weeded my flower bed for the first time in I don't know how long. Right, dimensionals for the back of this. Uh, actually, I might use some bits. 
because I hope we all use our edge bits. Working later. Ah, well, keep safe, B. I have been known to go through the bin of classes and take the edge bits out of the bin when people have gone, oh, I've used all the hexagons, um, but you haven't used the edge bits. Oh, I don't want to put that down yet. Woo, woo, making some cards. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, right, I've got some of the pink, or is it rose? Anyway, pink metallic thread. I love this stuff. We used to have it in lots of colours. We've now got silver and this colour. Um, now, I cut the little notch myself because it doesn't come with a notch. And I find that if I don't, if I don't use a notch, it has a tendency to unfurl and then goes everywhere. So I just I've got a, a pair of clippers that I just use it. Let's, um, ooh, let's make sure I know where that's going. OK, so we need to be quite close to my ribbon. Just a little bit of snail. And then pop that down. I always make sure that my ends are literally attached to the adhesive because otherwise they can run away where's the other end yeah attached to the adhesive oh no there it is almost attached to the adhesive there we are right so I don't actually want it quite that fluffy so I'm just going to take take the whole thing and stick that bit down and then back up again and then once we've got this on top it won't be quite as fluffy there we go so that oops it's always one bit isn't there or two bits even in this case Come on, back down you go. That's better. I didn't like that great huge explosion. Right, okay, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Pop that on there. Press from the back. And I just need to grab that and my. I can't do it in crumb cake. I'm just going to um, stamp this off or clean it up. There we go. So I've got most of the soft suede off because I want my little chappy down in the bottom right hand corner so just a few reminders do remember if you're in the UK and I'm not sure that many of you are but if you are in the UK do remember to use the host code do share the video either from Facebook or from YouTube and you get the chance to win the make a splash stamp set uh, which will be drawn in a couple of weeks. What time is it where you are? Uh, where I am, it is currently a quarter past 12, Pamela. So we started at 11 and it's now a quarter past 12 and we're kind of finishing up. Um, so we're on British summertime. There we go. And that is my casual craft version of that card, which would be my... Oh, I haven't put my pearls on. Pearls are allowed for casual. Um, before I stab myself, filling... Well, saying you live. 
because you aren't live when it's not lockdown. No, I know, B, and I'm I've, I've had this plan for a while uh, because I do a coffee and card face to face session every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Didn't want to drop that there. Um, and I had been intending to do Facebook Live on the other Tuesdays for a long while. Uh, and this has made me do it. So my plan is that these will continue, but they'll be two or three times a month, depending on whether there's a whether there's four or five Tuesdays in the month. So they'll be in fact, I'll probably just do the first and third Tuesday of the month because otherwise it'll get confusing for people. So I will be doing more lives. Yay. Um, right. So that is that one finished. Let me do a quick recap of what we've made. So that's the Avid Casual. Uh, we did that one, which was scary monsters for me. Hi, Christine. We're about to finish up, but welcome. You can catch it on replay and the Tropical Oasis with the fussy cutting. Homework for this week is fussy cutting. So stamp words, stamp something and try some fussy cutting. So thank you very much indeed for joining me. I don't think there was anything else I needed to say. I think I covered everything. Um, I did have a crib sheet, which I've now buried. Why am I not surprised that I've buried my crib sheet? Um, oh, there it is. Let me find my crib sheet again. So, April host code GA4RTX F for Foxtrot 9. Um, remember to share. And if you share last week's, the draw for last week's will be next week. Um, you'll get entered into that draw for the happy birthday to you stamp set which was free with celebration um remember the tutorials great grandparents came to the us from newcastle ah am i near there no um no i'm Technically, I'm in the southeast. I'm sort of North Midlands. Oh, sorry, South Midlands, but I'm in the southeast, North Southeast. Um, so I'm near Oxford. Um, so, yes, do remember tutorials. If you're in the UK, you can get for free with an order. £45 for the Glam Squad tutorials. They're monthly. The Ornate Bundle, Mega Bundle, 90 projects. Um, it's a one off. So £60 order will earn you that. Or £17 to buy that, £15 to buy the Glam Squad tutorials, which I'll be getting more and more of those. Uh, if you're in my team, you get both of these free. Um, I'm thinking of doing coffee and card um, where we actually craft together. So if anyone would be interested in that, please let me know. That would be UK only. And what I would do is send out the supplies with a list of suggested stamps for the designs and then do um, YouTube videos as premieres to go live uh, so we can craft together. Do remember that if you're watching and there isn't a red dot there, you are not live. So just remember that it will be a recording um so yeah if it's not if it's after a quarter past 12 in the uk on tuesday the 14th of april it's not live yes janice would like to craft together okay i will have a look at doing that and we'll do some advertising on that probably in a couple of weeks because i'd need to get that all sorted out Thank you very much for joining me. I can see people are beginning to go, which is absolutely fine. Um, and I will see you next week if you're watching this on replay on YouTube. If you don't subscribe, please do so. And it will be in the bottom right hand corner. And if you've enjoyed this and actually got this far, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. The dimensions will all be on my website as ever. Have a good day, you to be. Oh!